Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to the Platinum Walkthrough of Dark Cloud 2. This is part 35. So in this video, we are getting the Monster Mash trophy. So, we're going to get the uh, card monster first. So what you need is a gift capsule and three diamonds. It is ridiculously steep. But anyway, you get one of these from Donnie, you get one of these in front of the item shop in the future of chapter 5. You, it's just sitting in a chest right there in front. You can also win it in Speeda in two places that I'm aware of. There's probably a few more floors that award it to, but you can get one in the, in the floor Scary Women. You can win a diamond from Speeda and also... In the underground water channel, you can also get a diamond from winning Speeda on the floor battle with rats. So that's how you can get three diamonds. So we are going to go into the floor. Okay, so we're on the dungeon floor. Card warriors gather. So just come find a diamond enemy on this floor and try and stun them somehow. Throw a pot at them would be the best way. Now we're gonna throw our gift capsule with three diamonds onto it. You'll see that little mark and we'll take him out and we will get our card. Please, please save. Please save before you do this because it is very possible to miss and you really don't wanna redo that. So cool, we got our monster. My attacks are of a quality far above your mere average card, soldier. Really? Well, anyway, this is, uh, this is what we get. Alright, we're just here at Donnie's place, so we're gonna turn in our photos. And he's now going to give us the moon badge. So... So... If you followed all my photo guides, then you should be at photography level 8 by now. So at this point, you can show Donnie all your scoops. And he will give you the sun badge. At photography level 7, you get the moon badge. and photography level 8, you get the sun badge. Alrighty. Alright, so you can buy gift capsules from Claire right here. We'll just buy, like, that much. Alright, so come to the floor to the outside world in the underground water channel. You're going to want to get a gift capsule with three pieces of cheese. Just throw it at a sewer rat, and then take him out and you'll get his monster transformation badge. Now we can transform into a rat if you really want to. <laughs> okay, so on the same floor, go up to a froggy. This might, you might miss this one, it's possible, but go up to, with, to him with a gift capsule with three batten in it. Let's just get rid of this guy. Okay, maybe let the thing barf on you. And then you can throw the capsule at it, because he'll stop moving. And then you will then get the badge, Aquatic. So now he can turn into a frog. So, only six more to go. We're already halfway done, it's been like three minutes. Okay, so just come over to Borneo. Buy three gold bars from him. We're going to need this for a little bit later. But since we're in Heimrata, we're going to go to Mount Gundor. Go to the floor, Fire Dragon. Okay, so after you find a bomber head, just take him out with bombs. It needs to be this variant of bomber head. It can't be a stronger one. Basically, just finish it off with bombs, and it'll drop you a badge. 
Alrighty. Five more to go. Okay, so come on down to Sindane and go into the floor grotesque spider lady. So just make sure that you went and bought the three gold bars from Borneo, or if you just so happen to already have three gold bars, that's even better. It's even easier. So get your gift capsule. And then just stick three gold bars in there. It's not going to let us do that because it's equipped. It's fine. I'll just do this one and swap them. So we got three gold bars in here. So now, all we gotta do is find a grotesque spider lady, which will not take very long. There's probably one in this big room right here. In fact, I'd just be so surprised if there wasn't one in this big room here. There isn't one in this big room here, okay. Whatever. Here we go. Just throw the gift capsule at it, and take it out. And there we go, we got our badge. Alright, moving on. Okay, so come into the floor frightening forest. Find a skeleton warrior, and take him out with the holy water. One should do the trick. And this will get you the undead monster transformation badge. Three more, almost there. Alright, so come into the floor, little dragon counter attack. Now you're gonna wanna have a gift capsule with three wind elements in there. You're gonna wanna find a wind gemron. We're just gonna let him shoot at us. That works too. Tr try and throw a rock at it to stun it. And we missed. That's fine. That's why we have extra. It's kind of hard to get it on these things since they're floating. But this is a very inexpensive toss, so it's no big deal. Okay, he's down at floor level. I think we still missed. Oh no, we got it. There we go. We have the reptile badge. Okay, so, come into the floor, I'm a pixie. What you need is a gift capsule with three gooey peaches in it. Uh, you should be able to buy these from Adele, I believe. Okay, so let them come down to ground level. Throw the capsule at it. Take them down. And we now have the spirit badge. Only one more to go. Alright everybody, come to the floor sand molars. Now you're going to want to have a gift capsule with... Sturdy Rock. We're going to equip that. Throw it at a statue. And he dodged it. Look at those elite skills. He was like a bolt of lightning, I barely saw it happen. <laughs> anyway, it's a cheap one, so it's not that big of a deal if we miss. All right, now we just take him out. And that's it. That's every single badge. If you don't have the trophy already, you do now. So hopefully this video helped. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a good day as well. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.